Hey Cham. Good morning, Daddy. How are you? Good morning. How was your night? It was good. Come here. Sorry. 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 Are you okay? Oh! I'm fine. I sprained my uncle the other day while running. I'm yet to recover. I'm so sorry about that. But if you don't mind, there's a hospital right outside the estate. I can take you there. Hospital? Yes. It's not that serious. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. Alright. Uh, Dayimi. Dayimi Bakri. Zainab Yakubu. Nice to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you too. Did you just move in? Because I've never seen you jog on this street. Really? Yes. I wish I can afford living in a place like this. I stay with a friend. Uh, it's okay, that's fine. It's cool. So how about we jog down to the estate gates? Considering your leg, are you up for it? I'm fine. Let's go. Okay. Zainab! 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 Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Sorry. Yes, I, I'm at the hospital right now. No, 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 I'm just going to be soon. Yeah, just waiting for the doctor to come. Hello, doctor. Yeah, hello, Miss Yakubu. How are you today? Um, doctor, how is she doing? Um, vitals okay. Miss Yakubu, you fainted as a result of exhaustion. I am I'm glad it's nothing serious. Yes. And in your condition, you shouldn't be stressing yourself. I understand. Okay. Um, I suppose you're the father. <laughs> no, doctor, I... I am too young to be her father. I've not told him yet, Doctor. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, at this point, I will leave both of you, okay? I I'll be in my office, okay? Okay, Doctor. Yes. You told me what? I'm pregnant. And you are the father of the baby. <laughs> Wait. Uh, how? Uh, how? Come on. I understand this is a lot to take in, but I have no doubt in mind that you are going to be a wonderful father. I, I don't even know you. I, I just met you. How, how am I? Wait, did you, did you hit your head or something? Just calm down, don't worry. You're late. How many miles did you run today? Baby, I'm talking to you. D? Baby. Huh? What is wrong with you? You were saying something? I I've been talking to you, but you weren't responding. Did anything happen today during your exercise? Oh, no, no, no. Nothing happened. <laughs> I'm running late. Are you sure? Yes. I have to go and get ready. Right. Your food is ready. I'll be right out. <laughs> okay. All right, you look nice. Thank you. <laughs> hey, 
I like it. Oh. <laughs> ah, thank you very much, Ma. Oh, yeah. You will not regret it. Yes, thank you very much. Um, wait. As much as I like it, I think the budget is rather high. Oh, um, um, no, 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 no. You don't have to worry about that, madam. We can go all through the um, details, then look for where to make adjustments. Oh, all right? that's okay. Yes. Very well, then. Um, I have a meeting that I'm already late for. I, I need to go now. Um, but we can just go through the, you know, the details and explain to you. It won't take much time. Oh, yeah. I am so sorry. It's going to be next time. Oh. We can talk about it next time. Uh, are you sure? Yes, I am. No, no, don't panic. I love it. Okay. If you love it, then it's fine with us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like it. All right, no problem. So, when next we see, we we'll talk about it. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Take my leave. All right, sure. Okay, okay, okay. Um, nice doing business, Michelle. Thank, thank you. you very much. <laughs> okay, madam. Thank you. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Uh, please, would you be able to see your way out? Of course. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a nice day. See you it's okay. all the time. All right. Um, the price won't be a problem, ma. Okay. All right. Trust. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I can't wait for them to pay that money. Hey, relax. The money must draw. Yeah, we need it. For sure. I need it. I don't know about you. Oh, sure. We need it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's up? Um, drinks tonight? No, no, no. Not today. I'm going home. You know, uh, Maurice Betty is coming up. I need to. I don't know if I'm gonna do something or not. What? You forgot? I forgot his birthday was coming up. See you, Godfather of the Year. Godfather of the Year. Um. So what's up? I know you want to have something normal. That is what I want to do. But you know, Madam, she wants to spoil the boy. She's always spoiling Morris. I know, I know. Women, you know, they like uh, loud, loud things, expensive shit. They don't even know our pockets. They, they want to... to consider how we make this money. <laughs> huh? We still have to make this money. They don't have time to consider that. I'm not top one now, fool, and what they got. You know, it's all right. You want it? Don't worry about oh, it. Okay. So, what are you getting for your godson? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm so confused at the moment. But I uh, will try and figure out something. You better. Very beneficial, at least. Sir, there is a young lady here to see you. I am not expecting anybody, but let her in. Okay, sir. Come. Who is the big? I mean, uh, is she a client? Hey, you know, can you allow me to take care of whatever account? She's bringing. No. Oh. All right. Uh, let me go and think of what to get for my godson because I need to get him something very, very beneficial. Godfather you know? of the year. <laughs> <laughs> <That's what's up. laughs> oh, God. What are you doing here? Hi. That is not an answer. I was thinking maybe we could talk. Talk about what? I don't even know you. You've known me, DME. If not, how else would I be carrying your child? You know what? Get out of my office. I'm calling security. No, you wouldn't do that. Security. My office. Now. You called the security. I will let everyone know that you got me pregnant and now you're abandoning me. Say whatever you want to say. You and I both know that that is not true. Yes, boss. Security. Do me? You run a PR firm. How do you think your clients will perceive you when this gets out? Or you let us talk about this like two adults. No one gets to know about this. It's up to you. Security. Boss. You can go. Yes, boss. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry. I've been going to the restroom a lot today. Pregnancy hormones. <sighs> what do you want? 
You. All I want is for you to be part of our baby's life. Why are you doing this to me? Why me? Do you mean I didn't make this baby all by myself? All I ask is for you to show a little concern. This is crazy. You were a complete stranger to me. No, you didn't mean that. Let's have dinner tonight. I will explain everything to you. Take me out of your madness. Is it money you want? Huh? Is that what you want? I will give you money so you can go. How does 500,000 sound? Don't insult me, DME! What do I look like to you? A deranged lunatic! Any more questions? No. That's not how to talk to a woman who is carrying your child. You know what? That is it. Get out! You might have forgotten me. But I never forgot you. Not for a moment. You know what? I, I have an appointment with my doctor now. I'll be free later tonight so we can have dinner. Get out. Meet me at Peach Bistro by 7. I know you remember there. Get out! I'll be looking forward to see you there. So it's my turn. <laughs> Six! Oh, oh, babe. Baby, your phone is ringing. Who's that? It's an unknown number. It could be a potential client. Hello? I thought we agreed to have dinner. Why are you standing me up? How did you get this number? Just tell me you're on your way. Because sitting here all by myself is really embarrassing. Listen, don't ever call this number again. Dear me. Hello? Hello? Babe? Who was that? Sorry, it was a client. A client? Why would you be talking to a client like that? I mean a vendor, and this person has been bothering me. I'm so sorry. Okay. Can I have your phone, please? <laughs> what do you need it for? Can I have it? <laughs> Babes. Yes. Thank you. What are you doing? Blocking the vendor. Because I do not want anyone giving my husband high blood pressure. Not on my watch. I love this woman. God damn. And I love you even more. <laughs> Let's continue. Sure, let's go. So, okay. um, it's it, it his turn. Wait, let me count now. It's I played six. Let me count. All right, fine. Hold your horses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chance. <laughs> okay. Free Once. ticket booth. Baby, it's okay. Jesus! Look who scares Hidley. God, this can't be happening again. You never showed up for our dinner dates. And I tried calling. It was obvious you blocked my number. Why? Zainab, right? The fact that you don't remember my name hurts. Like I said, I don't know you. And I cannot be the father of this baby. Just leave me alone! Isn't it the reason why you don't remember me? 
What did you say? I said it's indeed the reason you're ignoring me. I don't want to involve her, but I will, dear me. Now you listen to me. Keep my wife's name out of your mouth. You leave me no choice. If you go near my wife, I will show you that I'm crazier than you. <laughs> Another one in the bag. Of course, of course, we keep on hitting it hard, eh? You know, back to back. And, uh, who sent you this? So the one that makes me blush for no reason. Indeed, of course. Oh. See why I keep telling you to have a woman in life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I need to eat something very nice. Let me, let me call her and say thank you. You have to call her. Hey D. Hey, how is my sexy proprietors oh my doing? God. I'm okay, my love. I'm just getting parents to pay their children's school fees. That's all. What? But the term is almost over. <laughs> anyway, how is my beloved husband doing? I'm good. I'm just calling to say thank you for the parcel. The parcel? What parcel are you talking about? Food. Did you not send food to my office? Food? No, my love, I didn't. Are you sure? I would know if I sent you a parcel. I did not. What's the matter? I'm sure there's been a mix-up somewhere. Don't worry about it. Okay. Are you sure? Yes, uh, it's fine. You have a good day, yeah? All right, bye. Okay, bye. Just gonna get this done. Hey, man. This food is so delicious. And it is a wonderful cook, I must say. Hello, join me. Hey, babe. Babe? That's so sweet. I've told you to stay away from me. Why are you still calling my phone? That's not a way to say thank you to someone who had food delivered to you. Stop. Listen, I am tired of your games, okay? Come have dinner with me. That's not too much to ask. To hell with you! Come on, bro. What's going on? What happened? Dear me. Come to my office right now. Dear me. Talk to me. What's going on? Sir, you asked for me. Listen very attentively. Anyone that brings parcel to this office and it's not for my wife, do not accept it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Go. Can you talk to me, Danny? What's going on? Danny, talk to me now. I've already eaten this food. Like, can, can you, how, how, where, where did it come from? Like, from who? Like, talk to me. <laughs> Wonders shall never end. Just like that. <laughs> Do you see why I did not want to tell you or anyone else? Hey, hey, calm down, right? Talk to me. What really scares me is this girl knows where I work, where I live, everything. You're sure you haven't met her before? You, you don't know who she is? Really? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Honestly, this sounds so crazy. I must say. You know, I know we have a lot of crazy people everywhere, you know, unassumable people. But, I mean, you see this story? It gets us to be. Tony, I am drowning here. I don't need you to start checking how believable my story is. <sighs> Demi, you know, this sounds like, you know, all these tales by moonlight, honestly, I must say. Um, have you told Ndidi about it? Are you serious? I want to solve this thing and put it behind me without involving her. Um, Demi, you see, I think you should let her know, right? I don't want to let her go through that stress. What really scares me right now is I don't want that girl to help my family. I understand. 
Well, I think I know what you can do to save yourself. So, um, sir, that is why I need a restraining order to prevent her from coming close to me. Can you run that your story by me again? Um, but, but this time, tell it as if you're telling a child. Um, so I met this woman when I was going for my morning run. And we got talking. I, I, I know all that bit. Could you just skip to the hospital bit? When we got to the hospital, the doctor mm. came back after the checkup. He said that she was pregnant and that I am responsible. That's after you just met her? Yes, sir. Mm. That is why I'm here to ask you to give me a restraining order. Mm. Mm. Uh, Tony, is that why you said you wanted to see me? You think oh. I don't have important things to do? But, Uncle... Don't uncle me. Hmm? Young man. Go. Go. So what am I going to do now? Well, honestly, I think you need to go see her. Come on. Are you really telling me this, Tony? I should go and see her for what? Yeah, of course. At least to know what game she's playing. Alright? You need to be sure. Listen, I don't want to play her games. Come on, you have nothing to lose, right? After all, you're innocent. So, who was there? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can do that, bro. I'm so glad you came. What games do you think you're playing? I'm not playing games. Can't you remember how we met? Well, we met six months ago at a bar in Ibadan. We had drinks. It was a beautiful night. This story does not make any stupid sense. First of all, the first time I was in Ibadan was three months ago for business. Secondly, I don't dance. Come on! You honestly can't tell me you don't remember being with I me. I have only been with one woman for the past seven years and you are not her. Don't compare me to her. Now you listen to me. This is the last time we're going to see. The next time you show at my office or anywhere, I will have you arrested and locked up in a minute. Before you dismiss me so quickly, take a look at this. Take. This is ridiculous. Doctrine a paternity test? Is there any length you wouldn't go? What makes you think they are doctored? The test is real. It proves that you are the father of this child. It's not possible. You cannot doctor a paternity test without a DNA sample. I am not crazy. You are the father of my child. If you don't believe me, it's fine. But I'm willing to carry out another test. But I can assure you that you are going to get the same result. Trust me. to you my beloved son i love you so much we love you yes of <laughs> course okay big boy it's time make a wish yes um come on big boy tell us what you wish for hey 
I thought that was supposed to be a surprise. No, my darling. He has to tell us what he wishes for. <laughs> so you tell us. What do you wish for? Mom, guess. Hmm. The latest PlayStation? No. Um, a bicycle? No. Yes, I got it. Those shoes we saw at the mall that day? No. What? What could it possibly be? Okay, I have given up, my son. Tell me, what exactly do you want from mommy and daddy? Tell us. A younger brother and a sister. Um, okay, um, mommy and daddy has heard you, so um, it's time for you to cut the cake and then we can enjoy this amazing food, okay? Okay, there you go. Good boy. So on three, two, one. Hip, hip, hip. Talk to me. You heard what Maurice said earlier. He wants a sibling, D. Babe, we have been over this. But we can still try. We can. After all, our sample is still at the clinic. I can personally call the doctor and tell him to book another appointment. That is what we spent the whole of last year doing. Having all sorts of tests and treatments. I, I don't want us to go through that again. Babe, listen. If it happens for us, fine. If it doesn't, we will be fine. I just don't want you to go through that pressure again. I love you. I know, Dee. I know you love me. And I love you even more. But... What about adoption? We haven't explored that yet. Babe, I am not sure about that. Why not? Dee, there are so many children on the street that needs a good home. Babe, we are still young and we can still have kids. It's very easy for you to say because you're obviously not the problem. What? Problem? Babe, you're not a problem, even though you can be a handful, but trust me, you're not a problem. Stop. Listen, baby, I love you. And I love you too. Stop. It's okay. Stop. Thank you. Uh, babes? Yeah? What happened earlier today? I called you severally, but your phone was switched off. Yes, um, I actually got a new SIM card. Why? I just don't want some people to reach me. And you did not tell your wife? I was going to give you the number. You didn't tell me. Wait! I'll kill you! Please tell me! Maybe you can tell me. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. I called a doctor whose name was on the result and he was telling me congratulations. Can you imagine? Danny, you need to do your own paternity test with your own doctor. No, I won't do it. Come on, bro. You need to. At least to clear your name and prove your innocence. To do that means I will have to see her and that is the last thing I want to do. Besides, there's nothing to clear. Danny, don't be stubborn. Get her to do that test and put all these things behind you. Why would I do a paternity test for a child that is not mine? To Why would I do that to myself? To prove your innocence. Tony, if I had something to do with this girl, don't you think I would have owned up to it by now? Come on, I understand. But I mean, if this thing gets out, it's going to look messy. Think about your family. Think about our fame, the damages, all right? Honestly, we have clients to think about. I did not ask for any of this. 
come on, I know, I know I understand, honestly, this whole thing. Um, but, you see, what are we going to tell our clients during our crisis management meeting? Listen, you can't control what has happened, but you can change the narratives, alright? And you see, you need to tell Ndidi as well, she has to know. There is nothing to tell. Damn it. Um, with what you have seen so far, I hope you're very comfortable double bringing your child to our school because we are one of the best around. Hey, Dee. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is Mrs. Zainab Yakubu. It's Miss. Oh, my apologies. It's fine. Um, she's considering bringing her child to our school. Who's the same age with your son? What is wrong with you? Is everything okay? Sorry. Pregnancy hormones. Oh. You're pregnant? Yes. That's wonderful. Dee. Isn't that wonderful? <clears throat> your, your partner must be very excited. It's just me. The father is undecided if he wants to be part of this. But I'm hopeful he will come around. Oh, man. You are a very strong woman indeed, madam. Please call me Zaina. Oh. Babe, can we go? Yes, we can, my love, but please, why don't you sit down while I round up with her, please? Yeah. Okay, dear, um, this, uh, this paper contains every information you need to know about the school. If you need any other thing, there are two numbers there. You can call me with any of them. It's okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Do have a good day. You too. Do you name again? Um, his name is Dayemi. Dayemi. Okay. But are you sure we've not met before? Uh, I am very sure we've never met. Mm. You're very sure? Okay. Have a good day. You too. All right. I'll welcome. get back to you. All right. Okay. D? Huh? Was everything all right at work today? Yes, uh, everything was fine. If I didn't know better, I would say that you were rather hostile towards that lady. Can we go? Of course. Okay. I'll have to continue tomorrow. Now my husband is here. Let me pick up something. I need to have this submitted. Okay. All right, my love. Let's go. Let's go. All right. It's a different kind of dream, you know It feels like I am losing every bit of sanity Cause I thought it was Who is calling at this time of the night? Now all I feel is confusion So hard to figure it out Hello? I thought this is Indidi's number, not yours. Listen, you better quit this before you push me. Baby. Hey, I'm sorry for waking you. Who was that? Wrong number. This time of the night. I know, you know some people can be so funny. Baby, come, come to me. No, 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 I'm still, I'm still working. I'm gonna join you later, okay? Mm. Mm. Hold on, I'm coming. Hey! Babe! 
Baby! What a surprise! You would have told me you're coming. I would have prepared something. Don't call me that. I am not your baby. Okay. How about D? Would you prefer I call you D? Don't you dare. Only one woman gets to call me that, and that is my wife. You better stop calling her and stay away from her. You left me no choice. You stopped answering my calls. I am not going to be sidelined. Not when your seed is growing inside stop of Stop it! Just, just stop it! Oh, please don't shout. I have neighbors. You have neighbors? Oh, now you're worried about your neighbors. Do your neighbors know that they are living next to a crazy person? Don't come to my house to insult me! Just because I'm carrying your child. All I ask is that you give me a little respect. Is that too much to ask? You have seen the test result. What else will it take you to show up for our child? Stop, stop saying that! I am a father to one child and he's at home! Why does it have to be a screaming match with you all the time? All I want is to be part of your life. Never. You're so pathetic. Don't say that. You know what? You're just a pathetic, sad, lonely... Don't, don't talk down on me! Leave my house. Leave my house now. Every bit of sanity Cause I thought it was a dream I did Now all I feel is confusion Baby Hey babe Hello You okay? Very okay Are you fine? Yes I'm, I'm good You don't seem to be okay to me I'm fine I just wanted to tell you something. Oh, oh, hold on, baby. It's Judith calling. Hello, Judith. How are you? What is wrong? Oh my goodness. You, you finally lost her? Oh my God. I'm, I'm so sorry, my darling. Listen. Put yourself together, okay? No, 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 it's... I understand you, but just put yourself together. Uh, uh, yes, I'll, I'll call you in the morning. I'm sorry. So sorry, so sorry. Uh, babes, you know Judith, one of my staff? Yeah. She lost her grandma. Oh, may her soul rest in peace. Amen. Though the woman has been sick for a while now. She's been at the hospital for six months. That's very sad. Very, very. Mm. I'll call her in the morning. Okay, baby. Um, you wanted to tell me something. Oh, uh, don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's okay. What do you mean, don't worry? Don't do that. Don't Babes, hang me. It's, you don't. It's fine. Don't hang me. Trust me. It's fine. Oh, come on, baby. You're going to tell me something. I know, but it's okay. <laughs> it's good. Let me go back to work, okay? Are you sure? Yes. Alright. Uh. Baby. Huh? Are you sure you're fine? <laughs> yes, babe, I'm fine. Don't worry, we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Okay? Baby, I know my husband. Huh? Yes, and my husband is not okay. Babes, I said I'm fine. I'm good. Trust me. Just get some sleep. If you say so. 
Drop your phone. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Baby. What? <laughs> you know, I love it when you do this with me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you should blame it on my busy work schedule. And never mind. But at least I'm here. <laughs> yeah, right? Not like I've missed you in this kitchen, though. Oh, really? Mm. You haven't missed me? No. Are you trying to tell me that? Baby, don't. You don't miss me. Ah, huh? You're going to wake your son up. He's sleeping. Him wake up when he comes. We're going to tell him we are making a mini hem. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, stop. My foot is going to get done. Baby, I don't care. You don't care. You don't care. You don't care. Stop it. Baby, stop it. 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 Don't you like that? My food! My food! You'll be fine. You'll be fine, listen. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. See that you're eating ice cream, you're quiet. You're not going to talk. This eh? one. If there's no ice cream now, you'll be shot. Wait, wait. Yeah. Really? <laughs> no, you have it, have it. Mm. Mm. Right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I need to use a washroom. Oh. Um, right yeah. Okay. Are you back, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not for this ice cream. Oh. <laughs> I hope you like it. I'm done being kept a secret. How did you find me and what are you doing here? It's not my fault your wife can't help but post family outings on social media. Say now. This madness ends now. Yes, dear me. This madness ends now. Zainab. Zainab. Oh, can I be a break dancer when I grow up? Hmm. You want to be a break dancer? Yes, Mom. Is it as a profession? Yes, Mom. Have you told Daddy about it? No, Mom. <laughs> My son, you will not kill me. No. Don't, don't even say. Hey! Miss Zainab. Wow, what a pleasant surprise. Save it! Don't do this here. What exactly is going on here? Do you want to tell her? Or should I? Babe, do not listen to this woman. She's crazy. Oh, I'm crazy. Okay. What is going on? D, take this. Do not read that. Baby, you need to listen to me. Whatever she says is not true. She's a liar. They hate me. Why does this say that you are the father of our child? These documents are made up. I, I, I don't know this crazy woman. Do I know you? I don't have time for this rubbish you are saying. See, if you want to carry out another test to verify this, he knows where to find me. You need to listen to me. I don't know this woman. I can never cheat on you. I will never do that. Babe, yeah. I'm talking to you. Indizi, babe, please, please, Morris, baby. Indizi, please, talk to me. Babe, please say something. What exactly do you want me to say? Say anything. 
You can ask me anything, but I promise I didn't sleep with that woman. No! Why did you not tell me? Why? How am I going to explain to you that a woman that I don't know is saying that I'm the father of a child? I wanted to sort it out without getting you into it. Too late. Because I am already involved. Babe, I am sorry. But I didn't sleep with this woman. I need you to believe me. Why should I believe you? Tammy, give me one reason I should believe you. Please! Baby, I need some time. Oh, come on, baby. Are you telling me you believe what she said? You should have told me everything from the start. You should have been honest with me from the start. But no, you chose not to. So you do not have any right whatsoever to tell me who to believe or whom not to believe. Okay, fine. Tell me what you want me to do to make it right and I will do it. Take a test. Babe, the results are going to be out and you'll see. Yes, the results are ready. The procedure is very, very risky. I'm doing this just because you are my friend. Thank you. Where is the pregnant lady? What does it say, doctor? The result here shows that you are the father of the child. What? No. You must be reading this wrongly. I think you should use your glass. Mr. Bakare. Science doesn't lie. You are the father. It's not possible. It's not. I, I, I don't know this girl. How can she be carrying my child? Babe, it's not possible. I, I am not the father. Damien. So you actually brought me here to embarrass me. Oh. I am disappointed in you. Baby, baby, there's something wrong somewhere. Babe, babe, I am not the... I am not the father. Babe! Babe. Baby. Babe, listen to me. Babe, this, I, something is wrong somewhere. Babe, can you just wait and listen to what I have to say? Babe, did you did. Listen to me. Listen to me. Can you guys? What are you talking Danny, you can't hide in the office forever. I would rather stay here than go to a wife that resents me. Go and talk to her. I have tried, but she wouldn't listen to anything I say. The only thing I am guilty of is keeping this a secret. I didn't sleep with this woman. You believe me, right? I thought we've gone past all this. Past what? There, me. You made a mistake. Own up to it. And find a way to get your marriage back. Own up to what? I wouldn't be held responsible for something I didn't do. There, me. Tony, come on, we've been through a lot for you not to trust me now. <laughs> come on. Um, 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 there, me. Have you thought about the possibility? Don't. Tony, don't. Don't put that PR crap on me. Hey, come on. What if it happened and you just can't through? I would have known if it happened. Hey, come on. What if it's one of those drunken one night stands? Tony, think about it. Don't make me second guess myself. Hey, come on, bro. Listen, you have to consider what I just said. All right? It could have happened when you were drunk. And you're not the first person who is doing something under the influence that they can't remember. 
I have. It is not possible. Considering the scenario, right? How sure are you about that? Because I can't betray Indidi. You're back. Indidi, I know there's a lot we need to talk about. Well, I... I made stew. There's okra soup, there's ikuzi soup. Everything is in the freezer. The last time I went to the market, I stocked enough rice and gari, so you will be fine. How do you mean I'll be fine? I am going home, Daimi. But you are home. Not anymore. I am going to my parents' house. Indidi, can we talk about this? I had my mom pick Maurice from school. Our driver already left with some of our things. I believe they should be home by now. Please, I have to go. So you already had this planned out? Just like you planned having a baby with your mistress without letting me know. Don't call her that. She's nothing to me. She means a whole lot to you for you to have hidden it from me. Hey, Didi. Babe. I know you are hurt. But please calm down. <laughs> she was the vendor, right? She was the vendor that was calling you that night and you refused to pick, right? I should have known. I should have known. He was so unbelievable. It is. Excuse me. It did it, babes. Babe, babe, you have to listen to me. Baby, I was only trying to protect you. Protect me, you say? What exactly are you trying to protect me from? You get caught in a lie and you still have the nerves to say you are trying to protect me. What exactly are you trying to protect me from? Baby, I am sorry for not telling you about her. But I promise you, it is the only thing I am guilty of. I, I didn't do it. I didn't sleep with her. I didn't do it. You didn't do it. Amy, you know how badly I wanted another child. You know how badly we've been trying to achieve this. You know. You know. And you had to do this to me, Daemi. Babe, I didn't do it. I need you to believe me. So how do you explain the results? How? I know how crazy it sounds and looks, but I am innocent. If reverse was the case and I stood here telling you the same story, would you ever believe me? Would you? No, no, no. I want you to think very much. Think deeply before answering that question. Would you believe me? Babe. 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 Baby. Why would she, why would she believe me? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Where's the file I asked for? It's... Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir, a lady is here to see you. She just stepped out. Who? Right behind you, sir. What do you want from me? Have you not done enough already? I know you're angry. I never wanted all of this to happen. All I wanted is for you to be part of our baby's life. Can't you see that? Don't push me more than you already have. D, Amy. Get out. D. What did you just call me? Come on, D. Oh my God, It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's okay, it's okay. Ooh. 
Hey, what's up, bro? Oh, Mr. Shell. It's good to see you. I didn't know you were coming in today. I, I hope all is well. I saw that on SDK. I had to pull some strings to have it taken down. Oh my goodness. It, Tony, can't you see what this woman is doing? I'm sure she had this planned out. She didn't plan this, there. Well, you know how long this woman has been on my case. That video was taken by a potential client. Sir. An executive of Sun Oil was at the reception when that happened. He was the one that filmed the whole thing. I thought I was making a smart investment when I decided to invest in this company. Sir, trust me, you did. With this video out? I don't think so. Please, I am sorry. You see, your debt of um, apology is not going to take this away. You need to leave. Okay, I, I, I understand. I will take a three weeks leave for this whole thing to die out. And when I come back, I will do damage control. I'm thinking of a more permanent leave. Uh, Mr. Shio, please. Please talk to your friend. Tony, I can't be fired. You know how this woman has been on my case. Um, they and me. You could have avoided this from happening if you had owned up to your responsibility. No, Tony, you can't tell me what you're telling me. But there are two paternity tests that says you did it. Tony. Oh, yes. Um, well, 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 I'm sorry about the whole thing, you know. If you had checked your uh, email address, you will see a press release I sent to you that you'll be relinquishing your position as the CEO and get yourself checked into anger management classes. Tony, you, you can't handle it. Hey, I have to, all right? Distancing you from the firm is the best thing for D and D Media right now. Um, honestly, I wish things didn't have to go this way. Tony. Tony. Tony, I'm talking. Tony! Good day now, sir. You're welcome. Um, I'm here to see Zainab. Zainab Yakubu. I was called and told that she was brought in here yesterday. Your name, please? Aisha. Aisha Yakubu. I'm her sister and I'm listed as her next of kin. Okay. You may sit. Let me inform the doctor that you're here. All right. Thank you. Charles? Excuse me? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's just that you look like someone I used to know. Well, that's funny because I know someone you may know. How do you mean? This is me and my sister Zainab. 
I'm here to see her. Do, do you know her? Do I know her? Your sister has made my life a living hell. Yes. I lost everything. Everything because of her. Why would she do this to me? Of all the men she could torment, what is so special about me? Hold on. You can imagine my surprise when I saw you. Who is he? Zainab's fiance. At least he was before he died. He died last year along Ibadan Expressway. He was on his way to see my parents and it just happened. Charles was her one true love, and when he died, a part of her died with him. You see, she was pregnant at the time. The trauma of it all hit her bad that she had a miscarriage. We thought that she would get over it and go along with her life, but... We thought wrong. What are you doing? I'm rewriting my vows to Charles. Everything we tried to do to talk her out of it didn't work. Eventually she left home and cut all contact from us. I never saw her again until when she called me last year in November telling me that she's found Charles. Now, I'm guessing that was exactly the time she met you. That's the thing. Before she showed up in my estate, I had never seen her before. Are you sure? Yes, and it still does not explain the pregnancy. I mean, how can she be carrying my baby when I've never been with her? She's awake if you like to see her. What? All I remember is that I just finished using the restroom and then I tried to get up and everything turned blank. Does she live alone? Yes, she does. Um, it's not advisable for someone in her condition. Uh, doctor, please, what would have caused her fainting? Um, dizziness and then fainting and some of the things expected during pregnancy. It could have been caused as a result of low blood sugar or over exacting oneself. She has to be on proper bed rest. Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome. Excuse me. All right. Thank you very much, Doctor. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm still on your emergency list after all this while. Sis, don't say that. You know you're the only one I trust. Then why did you shut me out? You know it wasn't about you. I just wanted some time for myself. Don't worry, it's okay. Everything is fine now. Aisha, I found him. Zainab, no. Uh, I know what you're going to say. 
What if I told you you have been wrong all this time? No, I am not wrong. You are! <sighs> See, he's here. I was tired of waiting. Hi. How did you know I was here? He was the one that found you and brought you in. Oh, my hero. Thank you so much. I see you and my sister have met. Um, Zainab, why can't you just realize that he's not the one you think he is? Uh, come on. How can you say such a thing while he's standing right in front of you? Look at him, sis. Look, I know there's a striking resemblance, but he is not Charles. Charles is dead. Again with this. Stop. Stop it. His name is Diemi, not Charles. I know. I didn't realize this at first. But now I get it. I get what really happened is not your fault. You get what? What are you talking about? The accident you were involved in. You didn't die. You lost your memory. That's why you don't remember me. The only person here with memory loss is you. I am not your fiancé. This doesn't make sense. And just don't talk to me like I'm crazy. I know what I'm saying. You are definitely crazy. I have been married for seven years and I have a five-year-old son. How can I be your fiancé? What are you saying? Are you really sure about that? You see what I told you? She's talking crazy. We don't have to deal with this right now, okay? You need to get some rest. Remember what the doctor said. What rest? No, what bloody rest? After all she's put me through? We need to deal with this now. She's not resting, no. I want answers now. Please, I know how you feel. No, you don't! I thought you were done fighting this. I am going to be the mother of your baby. You are never going to be the mother of my child! I thought we've gone past this. What are you saying? Zainab, stop! It's enough. Please. Listen, Daemi, I haven't come here for this. I only came here to pick up a few things. Besides, aren't you supposed to be at the office? I was asked to step down. Why? What happened? Oh, I guess it's because of her, isn't it? It's a long, messy story. For your sake. I just hope she's worth the trouble. Indeed, indeed. Listen, I have not come here for this like I said. I have a PTA meeting in the next one hour, and the last thing I would want to do is to ruin my makeup crying over this again. Let's not go there. Fine. But can I ask you something before you leave? What? Do you remember the vows we took on our wedding day? Thank you. I promise to be honest with you at all times. No matter how hard the truth is, because love is honest. Day, let me Indeed, please. I have worked so hard to stay true to those vows. I am not perfect. I know. And I'm still working hard to be that honest man that you deserve. And I've been honest with you regarding this. Can't you see that? Listen. I have to leave now. You take care of yourself. Indeed.
Doctor. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. I'm sincerely sorry for keeping you waiting. No, it's fine. I'm here Before because... Before I let you say anything, I would like to sincerely apologize. This has never happened in our clinic before. We have never had a case of missing samples here. But I can assure you, investigations are still going on internally. I'm sorry, doctor. But honestly, I do not understand what you're talking about. The samples yourself and Mr. Bakari deposited in our clinic some months back. Isn't that why you're here? Yes, I am here because I want the samples destroyed. We will not be pursuing the fertility treatment anymore. By the way, what exactly do you mean when you said the samples went missing? Oh my gosh. Please, ma'am, I would love you to follow me to my office. I have some explanation to give to you. If you don't mind, please. It's fine. That was exactly what she said. Do you think that is how she... Yes. If she is as crazy as you say, then there is a possibility. But a huge if. Indeedy, I am willing to explore, to prove to you that I'm innocent in all this. Yeah, I know. Just send me your details and I'll do your transfer. Thank you. All right, sister, go get dressed. Let's go. What? I almost forgot how good you are at taking care of me. Please don't even go there. That's enough. Before we start crying again, you know us. Thank you. Please go and get dressed. <laughs> cry, cry, baby. <laughs> like you. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mm. Okay. All right, easy. Ah, sis, which, which way is this? This is not the way home. The doctor said that you're not meant to stay on your own at this time. So, you are going home with me. Okay, well, I just hope you have my in the house because I've been craving for it. I just want to have my in the house. I'm craving for it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll try my best. You better try your best. And though. provide the moi moi for you. <laughs> Ah, oh. <laughs> I you used to now. like my wine. <laughs> but I need it now. Alright. Aisha. What are we doing here? Um, I want to show you something. Take me out of here. I don't want a tour of tombstones. Ah, come, I need to show you something. Just come. No, it's fine. I'm sorry. Take a look at this. This. What the hell is this? You were not there for Charles's funeral. That's why you're hell-bent on keeping Charles alive. Because Aisha. you did not see him being put into the ground. Aisha, get me out of here. Look, I saw Charles being put into this ground. Charles is dead. And he's never ever coming back, Zainab. You are a liar. I'm not telling lies. Zainab, you have to stop creating all these stories inside your head. No. I'm sorry. No. Look, Zainab. Look at this. No. Take a look. No, stop it! Zainab. You saw him that day at the hospital. Aisha! No! That is not Charles! No! no stop it! That's not it. Charles! That's Saying that this is not Charles. Charles is dead. Charles is dead and you know it. I wish he weren't. 
I wish he was here so you don't have to go through all this, but I'm sorry. He is dead. Why are you doing this? I need you to make peace with your life and move on. You need to remember now. That day at the clinic. Kike, have you seen Dr. Harry? No. Okay. Zainab, Zainab, are you okay? After I saw you that day at the clinic, I was so shocked that you didn't remember me. That was when I was convinced that you lost your memory. Each time you came by at the clinic, seeing you so affectionate with her. That was the kind of person my child was when he was with me. <laughs> no, I saw you. The more I thought it was Charles. So, I resigned from my job. But before then, I took your semen samples from the lab and inseminated myself with it. <laughs> that was how I got pregnant for your baby. I, I, I never wanted all of this to happen. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I couldn't. <laughs> Um, let me get you water. Don't worry, I'll get it. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Thank you. I, I really want to feel sorry for her, but I can't. I hate her so much after all she's put me through. She, she made me lose everything. It's okay, my darling. I'm so sorry. I mean, I should have believed you when you said you didn't do it. I'm really sorry. But trust me, we are going to get through this together, okay? Thank you for seeing me. What do you want from me now? You made me lose my job and I nearly lost my family. I want to know if you still want to be part of this baby's life. I am going to be part of the baby's life because technically it's mine as well. I'm glad you're on board with this. I understand this hasn't been easy for you. Waking up in the hospital alone. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. But I'm here now. We are here now. I am not Charles. Charles is dead. Who had his grave and I'm I'm really sorry for your loss. I know how much she means to you. 
You are a good man. One of the best God created. Any woman will be glad to have you. But I understand. It's going to take time to get your memory back. But being part of this baby's life is a step in the right direction. You're suffering from PTSD, hallucination and delusion. Look, I know you suffered a great loss. But I can't be something that I am not. I wish I was Charles, but I'm not. And the baby? You can't take care of the baby. My wife and I will adopt the baby whilst you receive treatment. You can't do this to me. It's my baby. And mine as well. We will be there for you. Please. I will be here for you. Please. I am sorry. Everything is going to be fine. Trust me. Okay? Please, please. I don't think I can do this. I need Charles. You can. You can do this. I know you're strong, Zainab. I know you are strong. He's supposed to be here. I've already called him, he's on his way. I, I told him about this. I know, I know, okay? Charles is supposed to be here, I need him here, yes. call him. I've called him, he's coming. You did? He, yes, I did. Call Come. him again. Calm down, okay? I should call him again. Calm down, Calm down. he's Just coming. Just call him again, I need him to be here. Don't you get to me, Charles? Calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Please. I need him to be here, to I know. Let me check the dining room. Okay. Please look at me. Come down. It's fine. Okay. okay. I just have to go. check if it's here. Okay. Alright. Let me just go. Okay. Thank you, sister. Congratulations, it's a baby girl. <laughs> Thank you so much, doctor. Um, what about my sister? Uh, yeah, she's fine. She's asleep. You get to see her in the next few hours. Oh my God, thank you. This is so thank nice. You. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, girl. Oh my God. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Mm, 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 mm. You're my star, baby. Mwah. Smile for mommy. Smile for mommy. You see, she's smiling. <laughs> you know you're my star, baby. You are my star. Mwah. I smile, smile, smile. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. Hey. 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 She's really quiet for a baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope she remains this way. But she eats a lot. <laughs> of course, she's my niece. What do you expect? Her auntie is a foodie. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you finally thought of a name for her? Yes. Okay. Esther. Esther. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice. She's going to be a queen. My baby will be a queen. <laughs> She's already one. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you happy. I am. So, 
I thought I should show you this. What is this? No. No. Say nap. This is what's best for you. That is best for me. Why are you hell bent on punishing me? I am not crazy. No one is punishing you. I'm not punishing you. And believe me, I don't think you are crazy, Zainab. I can't leave this thing. I can't. I'm going to be here for her. I can't leave this We are all going to be here for her. Please, this is the best thing we have to. All right. Okay. Please, don't make her forget me. She won't, I promise. Wait, see. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Very sure? Yes. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Say hello yeah. to your little sister. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, when were you pregnant? <laughs> Do not worry, my son. It's a long story. But with time, I will tell you everything, okay? Okay, come say hello to Esther. Come touch your sister. Wow. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Mom, she's so beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> she is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I got my birthday wish after all. Yes, yes you, you did. did. <laughs> Are you happy now? Yeah. Now you have a sister. Mm, see your beautiful sister. She cute? So cute. Oh, do she's me. cuter than you, you know that? Huh? Yeah? Yeah, she's cuter than you? She's cuter than you? She's cuter than you? I need to wake up to another reality It's a different kind of dream, you know It feels like I am losing every bit of sanity Cause I thought it was a dream I did. Now all I feel is confusion So hard to figure it out Oh no, oh no Don't need some crazy illusion I'm slowly losing my mind Losing my mind Unimaginable I cannot understand What you do yeah, yeah. Why in the world Does it have to be me Hope it makes you happy I don't know I don't know Maybe the stars have misaligned If this is a game 
want it to be over. I do, I do, I do. I want to look back and realize it was only hallucination. I do. Now all I feel is confusion. So hard to figure it out. Oh no. To another reality, it's a different kind of dream, you know. It feels like I am losing every bit of sanity, cause I thought it was a dream. <laughs> 